caked with all the goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got the Hilux down with Elite Diesel. Jake and the team here are gonna be doing an intake clean for me. And generally speaking, I do most of my own servicing. Oil changes, filter changes, brakes, those sorts of things. It is a bit of a DIY if you've got a good mechanical background or mechanical history. Um, for me, I've been working on cars since I was 14, so those sorts of things I can do myself. I did have to get a CV drive shaft in the front changed recently. That was done at a workshop. Just because when it comes to the more important stuff like that, I feel like it is good to get a specialist to help you out. And with today being at Elite Diesel, they're definitely specialists with diesel cars and tuning. So I'm gonna be getting them to pull apart my intake and give it a good thorough clean. See what 260,000 kilometers has done. Pretty sure it's gonna be pretty caked. So I'll leave the boys and the team with it and they're gonna be filming a little bit for me just because I've got to head off to work. So. Let's see an update soon. So, major issue already, spotted. Bit of a leak in here. Jake's just told me, um, yeah, he's found it straight up. Let's have a look. Have a look at that, Jake. That'll do it every time. Oh yeah, hold it there. Nice little sort of crack, and what's that? Uh, that's your map filter, so basically the servo isn't boosting as it should. Um, it's getting a different boost reference from this filter because it's leaking out the side, so get rid of that. New one on and uh, no more low power. Easy fix. Happy day. Got an eight yard valve in there. Oh wow, hey, Oh, that's bad. Yeah, so it's definitely caked up. Yeah. Um, we'll get a bit further into it, you'll be able to see. There's our culprit, why it's feeling so gutless. Heaps of a, a big crack on this side, a bigger crack underneath that you can see. Yep. Replace that guy, solve half the problems, but the big thing of why it's here is intake. Let's clean that out. So the boys are already right into it. Uh, we already found a, an issue, quite a common issue. A little piece that I was just showing you, uh, it's got a crack in it. That actually regulates what air is going into your sensor, into your intake sensor, which is also then gonna tell you what your fuel mixture, your turbo is meant to be pushing at, when your boost is coming on, what air and fuel mixture it is. So, the car is gonna be completely different already just by fixing up that one little part. But we can also see in the intake that it's completely caked. So cleaning out the intake, uh, having a fresh start of the intake, plus fixing out our little plastic um, regulator thing that goes into your intake, that's gonna fix up a whole lot of problems. So gonna be leaving it with the boys, letting them pull it all apart. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they go. It's so close. It could be on here. Look, it's not far. I reckon we just back it on at the end, see what it does. <laughs> Maybe give it a quick tune. Will's about to take off the intake. Let's see how bad this really is. Single bolt left. Oh, there she is. Caked with all the goodness. So we was just saying that it's probably not one of the worst you've seen. Um, yeah, they're usually like, you can barely see in the, in the ports here, but they'll cake up that much. And then this butterfly valve, you can barely even, you can open and shut it. They'll cake up so much that they'll stop. They'll, they'll jam up. 
So this being this caked at the moment, um, having it cleaned and freed up, what's it going to do? Uh, so this will increase the sponson power um, with the flow, increasing flow. Um, and then it'll also reduce fuel consumption, so you'll have better fuel economy um, and increasing power, which is what everyone wants, really. Perfect. Sounds good. What do you reckon, Will? It's come up mid. Uh, you'll definitely see some gains. Um, just better flowing, um, so you get better fuel, fuel consumption. Um, yeah, just a uh, bit more response down low. And then uh, with that map filter as well, it'll be like a brand new car. You'll be stoked with it, hopefully. Uh, we got this little guy. New one, big stuff. <laughs> Well, we're getting there, it's just the last pieces to go on and uh, get in and give it a good test drive, see how we go. out here at Double Island. Uh, it's the first real time that I've actually tested out the car um, since I've had the intake clean and also uh, the, the little part that I need to replace from Elite Diesel. Um, they did such an amazing job. Last time I was out here I had no power. It was absolutely gutless. Um, I struggled big time. Just yeah, real lack of power altogether. But now I'm back out here again with it all cleaned up. It's been working really well. Um, no lack of power. I have also added in a throttle controller, which is keep the keeping the power up a little bit more. Um, just increasing the accelerator. Um, it doesn't give you more power. It just increases your percentage of accelerator. Um, so I'm feeling a big difference. Not struggling on the beach at all. Uh, a lot nicer to drive along. And yeah, if you guys are thinking about getting something cleaned or serviced or fixed on your cars, uh, you got a Hilux or another diesel car that has over 200,000 kilometers on it, or even probably 150,000. It's probably worth taking it into a specialist that knows how to do a proper intake clean. Uh, luckily enough, Elite Diesel is right near me, so I've had them do the whole thing, and yeah, it was like a two-day turnaround. Um, no stuffing around with it, and they got straight into it. Showed me photos of what was going on. I showed you guys the videos of, of where it was at, what was being done, and yeah, I couldn't be happy with the results. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, until next time, stay tuned. Going to have more videos with a bit more education stuff coming on. Coming on. I'm going to try to educate. Um, it's me learning stuff, but it's also being able to teach you guys who are watching me for for high luck stuff or um, any sort of four wheel drives uh, that you're wanting to be able to keep modifying. So hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thank you.